Hey everyone, my name is Mitch Dyer. This is Marty Sleva. Hey Mitch. We are at the Game Developers Conference 2016 where mm -hmm. you have just played Paranormal Activity, the virtual reality game. You said many obscenities. Yeah, I swore uh, a bunch and I think there was a, uh, there was a child near me which I feel bad about. Ah! Ah! F <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that's that child's problem. Yeah. Uh, so I watched two people play this game, mm -hmm. you and another person. Yep. Both of you lost it. Yeah. Like, freaked out. Uh, but as you're seeing now, I didn't throw my controllers. I just screamed really that's loudly true. and wanted to throw my controllers. But it's also coming to PSVR and it's coming to Vive this summer. Uh, and it's based on the mythology of the paranormal activity universes of the movies. Um, and so the thing sort of, it, it plays a lot like uh, PT ish. Uh, you yeah, want to that vibe looking yeah. at just some of the imagery of like, yeah, a very totally. specific kind of house? Yes, but. This uh, is what Gone Home should have been. This is right. what Gone Home should have been, Gainer. Uh, but yeah, it was a really this gorgeous house that you're walking around. Like the, the, the fidelity was awesome. But you're sort of uh, picking things up. I found a lighter on the table, and I was using it to light up rooms. Uh, I had a, a flashlight, and I had to find batteries to put in it. And it starts off as a slow burn. You're not actually scared of anything. There's nothing spooky. Uh, and then the 3D sound kicks in, and you start hearing voices. And there's a voice that says, "Look behind you." I'm like, well, I don't want to do that you at all. Want to I don't want to turn around. Spooky. Yeah, there was use, they were using spookies. Uh, you're entering rooms, and doors are slamming behind you. Uh, uh, you enter a room and you exit, and all of a sudden the arrangement of the prior room is different. And you're just you're getting that vibe of Everything I am is uncomfortable. Just I am uncomfortable, and I saw the girl playing before me, and she kept screaming, and I'm like, I'm not gonna do that. And then I started screaming. I got very scared. Screaming like a big old baby man. Like a big old baby man. Uh, it was really good though. It was really uh, evocative. It, it fills a space in VR. Like VR horror to me is. Terrifying. Like, oh, the, idea like the most this. dangerous thing I can imagine. Yeah, and I feel like I, I almost hit someone, I think, and I felt bad. I almost knocked down a computer. Um, yeah, a lot of it, it, it utilized all sorts of different scares, uh, whether it was visual stuff, whether it was audio stuff. Uh, did a couple really good jump scares. Uh, yeah, and the demo ends. With, I don't want to like spoil no too spoilers. many of the things, but uh, spooky happens. You see another character in the house, and then it uses this misdirection. Furniture starts falling, and it's Silent Hill stuff happens, and the house is getting torn apart. But yeah, this is uh, yeah the, the scariest thing I've ever played in VR, and probably the scariest just single demo I've ever had of a game, uh, which is awesome, and I'm super excited to play this in the summer and to uh, terrify people with weak hearts and maybe cause a death. I'm definitely probably not going to ever play this game because nope. I'm a big old scaredy you cat. should not do that. And Don't do that. watching you react to this made me very sad. Yes, but if you like scary things, uh, if you like Silent Hills slash PT, RIP, uh, get excited this summer. It's coming to all three major VR platforms. To the, to the Verse. To the Verse. Marty, thank you so much for your time and your scares for all things paranormal activity, virtual reality, and dangerous things you probably shouldn't be doing in your, li in your living room. Stay tuned to IGN. I need a drink. Thank <laughs> you.